I won't prove I'm to owner today. Say no be say this country don't get money. No be say we cannot generate enough revenue to even finance our budget. Uh -uh. That is not the case. The case is that all the places we are generating revenues from, they are too porous. Very, very porous. And people are stealing every day. Nobody is accountable for anything inside this country. Make I tell you now. Any agency or institution being financed by the government, we will say their overhead and everything is paid by the government. Whatever they generate, they remit to the federal account. Oh, oh, now they hear me. Uh -huh. I go give one, one example now. When I go watch and see as it take happen, then when we come back, we'll have a discussion. When I go see where the Senate Appropriation Committee, they question one of the institutions being run by the federal government on how they take the remit, the whatever they make from that institution to the government. Since now government, they finance them and government, they run everything we consign that institution. I beg. Make una help me listen to this debate between the Senate Committee on Appropriation and then the Lagos State Teaching Hospital. Watch. <laughs> Just uh, ask a very simple question. Do you have official written justification for rem remitting only 25%? Yes. Yes. Sir. No, yes uh, sir. So why is it? Yes, sir. Um, from the Auditor General and the Accountant General, respectively, each time they come, they computed 25% and we, 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 we made the, 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 the payment. If we have not uh, made it in full. You have a copy of the circular? I, I don't have it, but I have the copy of both the computation by the Accountant General I didn't ask and for the Auditor General. I, did, hmm? okay. I didn't ask for computation. Uh, the circular yes, yes, sir. still gives you yes, the impetus or the grounds to remit only 25 percent. It's not with me here, sir. Huh? Oh, you have it? Should, it's somewhere. I should have it, sir. How fast can we have it? Because that's the only way that we have it. Sir, can I? Can I also add to that? I agree with this reference. Okay, sir. To, to, to add to it, I also made a reference to the fact that that 25% is about to be increased or has been increased to 40%. And the circular, is, it, it also made so much noise in social media that the vice chancellor had to make a representation to the president. 25%, we have the circular, it may not be here. Then, to, to show that we have been doing 25% over the years, now want to be increased to 40%. Is now the so they, there's no doubt about the fact that what we've been doing the last four or five years is backed by. And when they come from Lakanta also, that is what they ask for. 25%. That's what we've been doing. Thank you, sir. So um that oh, oh, both, both, both. Both of them, sir. Hey, but accountant general only takes uh, your financial uh, statements. That's why I say both. No, we have revenue report. Okay. And so so are you misguiding us? Or did you tell no. no. <laughs> if he has a superior no. I, you, I I I did something. I uh before this report. You were still relying on twenty eleven circular. And I referred you to twenty fifteen circular on the same subject matter. Can I respond to that, sir? Yes. And is in the public public okay. clear. Forty percent. If you are if you are remitting on the okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Mike. <clears throat> Lack of actually looking at the law, and of course obeying the law. Just yesterday, the National Assembly, the Senate, had a session with the Revenue Collecting Agency. The chairman of Federal Revenue is, is right out there, and I believe you me. Most agencies collect their money based on their perception of the law, based on their understanding of the law, based on some circulars that was written by either Accountant General 
auditor general or as the case may be. But the ground norm, of course you know, is the constitution. And what does the constitution says? Every other decent, every coalition should be to consolidate revenue, except in a manner prescribed by the National Assembly. That means there has to be a law passed by the National Assembly before it becomes a law. You just mentioned 40 40 percent now. The federal revenue boss is there. I'm not aware whether he's even aware of that party. Who is who is who, who, who is bringing all those those matters? Oh, now don't see him. You see the argument. 25 percent, 40 percent. Say all these years, what they have been remitting to federal government is 25 percent of whatever that they make, even while receiving their overhead and everything from the federal government. And when they are asking them, when I hear what they talk, say, now so we need do more. The Akata General, the Auditor General, they say that 25% will be paid. And we have a paper to eat, this one, that one. We will provide the communication from Akata General and the rest of them. He said they know they with them. And say it is somewhere. Uh -huh. They can't they even argue inside that video. Say, hey, oh, the Akata General, the new communication is that it's no longer 40, it's no longer 25%, but now 40%. Who now made that law? We Akata General, it doesn't have 40 Who now made the law? Eh? Is this not a connivance between the accountant general or the auditor general or whatever and this same institution? Same guy, give us 25% and chop the rest. Because how can you come and you say, okay, it's no longer 25%, you want to take it to 40% and there is no law backing it. Is there anywhere it's written in our law that institutions being run by government should remit 25% or even 40% that they are saying, eh, they have increased it to now? Where is the law? Oh, now here as I said to take token. Say everything will emanate from here. The laws will emanate from the National Assembly. A Catalina don't even get the right to come and say eh, eh, we are increasing or decreasing. The law says remit all, if I'm not mistaken. Nothing like 25 percent, 40 percent. When I say so, all this years, this is how they have been siphoning money. And it is whoosh, and it is whoosh. Then they will come and tell us there is no money anywhere. There is no money. This country is broke. Revenue, sources of regenerating revenues, people are sitting on them and eating fat. And then they remit whatever they want to remit to the federal government. Whereas their finances, everything is coming from the same federal government. So you go chop IGR, government goes to finance you. <sighs> Try. And until we lock up all these leakages. We we'll no go ever get money. The story will be that we don't have money. We don't have money. We cannot pay our loan. We cannot pay our loan. But look at money flying up and down. You don't hear them now. I said, make I update you now so that you are going to see the take happen. This 2024 will enter. Eh? You know, go be business as usual. Operation expose all the exposables. Now, what's going to happen? Oh, oh, now they hear me. Eh? Now, since they don't, they do their oversight function. All these are they, they, they know they do them. These are the oversight functions of the national assembly. Institutions, institutions of government. I go put. I make sure so they do the, the correct things and the, the right money is being remitted to the federal government. Now, 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 what's that they do? Them. It's all right. It is never too late. Eh? Muna do on our work. Now, we just make a con nakana on today. Now, don't say, eh? I go say on later. Imagine a country where its citizens get to enjoy the road without this. Imagine a country where unprecedented fuel scarcity does not cause panic at the filling station. That is why innocent vehicles has embarked on manufacturing environmental friendly gas powered cars while still offering comfort, luxury, and doggedness for the African roads. Innocent Vehicles, the pride of African roads.